Good evening everybody, welcome back to Contest of Speed. Not tier 3 tonight, we're in tier 2. Uh, my name is Dan, I'll be your commentator for this evening and I hope for the full season. Now that we're here to start season 5 for Contest of Speed, sat alongside me, he's come with me from tier 3. Let's go! Matt's go. here, yeah! Yeah. It's just practice, really, isn't it? Isn't you know, it just? Yeah, yeah. I'm, so I'm gonna set, I'm gonna gonna set, set, set the sword out. out. Tier, Tier two have, have got, got a hard, hard task, task to beat last night. Yeah, yeah, they have. Yeah, beat them last night. And Certainly if you have. Watched last night, go and watch it on Twitch and YouTube because you understand why it was well, interesting. Interesting is an understatement for it, it has to be said. Uh, before we get into things proper, we've got the Ferraris heading out first of all, with Thomas, third place man from Tier 3 last season. He is the lead car out to start Tier 2 in Season 5. Can anyone who's watching the stream now live, can you just tell me if uh, if Matt's voice is echoing at all? on stream because I'm just testing out my quality at the moment. A little man with a big voice. Little bit, yeah. Oh no. Uh is is it like he's speaking twice, very close together, Cookie? I wanna hear my voice twice, surely. Yeah but it, it it's too close together. Thank you Blank for subscribing. Uh, right, yep. Give me one second, everybody, and we'll be back with proper audio. In the meantime, let's ride on board with Thomas. Thomas with the first lap time of the session, 186. Keep going until Danny comes back. Hopefully it'll be quick. And Dan and Robbo's gone on the medium, so 1091. So let's have a so Sigate Thomas and Ethan, that's Rosa Sky. They've all come up from tier three last season. Uh, Cookie obviously has made the jump to tier three to tier one, and you'll see him tomorrow. And we'll probably touch on this a little bit later, but it's gonna be interesting to see how the tier three guys do in terms of their race craft from tier 3 to tier 2 because typically in the past those that have made the jump have struggled because they used to be running in free air by themselves so let's see if they can compete with people that are of similar speeds to them Dynamo is currently fastest on a 183 uh, returning drivers, we have Fallen, who's in the Williams, after his absence for the second half of last season, he has returned, the same with Dan Robbo, he's returned, both returning back into their normal tiers of Tier 2, Thomas ADO 070, so to put it in this way, commentator Thomas, who you heard yesterday, he has 
started in tier two this season because he was in tier one last year, made the drop, but just took a step back really for four or five months. So we just put him in tier two uh, for this season, and I think across all tiers, it's going to be interesting to see how people do because we're looking just to measure up see if we actually put people in the right tiers and then hopefully when the new game comes out we do a speed test as well and the, the tiers should be so that everyone's comfortable in each of their tiers that, that's the plan so still 12 minutes left in the session Matt, and I'm back the grid has not set a time yet yeah well I left it for a minute because I didn't know if I was going to speak and you were going to return halfway through and then I thought oh, I'm not going to see it quite for no minutes. well I should have been back quicker but I had I had some issues with a plug and uh, uh, and a microphone yeah so we're on we're on the backup headset now um Lovely. it's it is brand new fresh out of the box so it's very tight on my head it's like wearing earplugs you know when you get Lovely the echo jumping. in of your own voice so please yes, uh, yes, yes. Please just tell me anybody if I start shouting. Obviously not with excitement. That's that's allowed. Um, a person I have discussed already in this session, Danny, goes mm. to the top of the time sheet. I was Dude, just discussing how the tier three guys that jump between tier three and tier two in the past has seemed to be tricky for people who have been running in clear out because they're a lot faster. So yeah. Their yeah. race crop will be tested. Run through. Returning drivers, so that would be Fallen, Thomas, the way we go, Thomas, yep. and Dan Robbo, who mm -hmm. turned back, and then we just go on to the new drivers. Who are the new drivers, Danny? Uh, brand new drivers, anyway, for this tier are LOE Mark, who technically, I suppose, is a returning driver. He has raced in Contest of Speed before, uh, but a long time ago, so we're counting him as a new driver for now. Uh, other than that, I think all of these guys are either promotees or returning drivers. Manirik, of course, started Tier 3 last season and has come oh, back for Tier 2. Yes, that's who I was um, all the other guys are, I'll say veteran, they're all seasoned drivers. Yeah. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, 37 viewers on stream, that's great to see. Welcome all of you, I hope you enjoy yourselves. Uh, can you just confirm that the echo has gone for me, please? Somebody. Five second grid penalty between Jamie and Charlie. Oh, that's not good. Jamie's got front wind damage, so I'm just going to have a quick look on the race direct to see if that's five place each. No, five grid place just for Jamie, so that's going to impact someone who we Well, mm. won here last season in tier two. Uh, yes, he did, towards the end of last season, yeah, we were here, so. In that crazy race. Good stuff, thanks, Cookie. Um, and he won ahead of Varimir, who was our championne. Indeed, he was. You see him tomorrow. He will. <clears throat> All the quick guys, of course, out tomorrow night. Uh, we're riding on board with Charlie now. He's coming around to start his second lap, currently sitting on a banker of 108.9. First sector split, he is marginally up seven thousandths in the green. I did watch it through here. Go on. Uh, I wrote in the EU tier two chat. I, wanted, I thought it would be a nice idea to uh, get the views of the drivers, their expectations of not only this race but for the season. Uh, and Char I think Charlie's kind of downplayed himself. He said, hopefully scoring points yeah Charlie Cross started out in tier one so I'm not so sure he has just set the fastest middle sector of anybody so far um, so this lap could be uh, could be something to watch out for here he comes then for the for the line 108.8 only improves by a tenth first and third sectors letting him down at the moment it would seem uh, let's oh, jump then I want to I just want to jump and see Faxland out on track at the moment coming around to gone. finish his lap Faxland and Dracer of course in the Haas and Faxland gets himself a banker 109.6 it's not great he will need to improve that but he'll have another run at it 
uh, Joseph of course my teammate from last season so I will be supporting him behind the two Alfa Romeos who are of course uh, Joshua is keeping my uh, hash seat quite warm for me yeah he's, um, he said so. speaking of he's just come out of the pits he is the one man who has not set a lap time yet uh, he's uh, Dreyser so let's ride with him put the pressure on the field is quite spread out yeah, we've got Big Slater on pole at the moment, 107.983, um, and the gap is nearly two seconds, 1.7-ish, uh, back to Faxland in P19, but of course we know everyone in this field is more than capable of getting into the 108s. Yeah, I think, I think we know it's going to get closer, but I think this time, obviously, because of the standard that was set yesterday in terms of the expectations of how close it was, and there is it. Yeah. Like, even yesterday, Tier 3 was... Six tenths with still like the last two runs to go between yeah, like yeah. first sixteenth or something. Stupid. Yeah, it was so close. Uh, it's right on board with Dracer then. Down towards turn one, heavy braking zone into the center S's. Clip on the curb on the left hand side and plant the throttle out of the second corner through turn three and onto your second DRS zone. Stretch that gear right out, hit the braking zone at about the 75 metre mark, down to fourth gear. Fastest first sector of anybody for Dracer so far. He's a man on a mission. Heavy braking zone there, into the twisty infield section of sector two. There is traffic ahead of him, early up shift there to keep the rear in check. Yeah, but Neil is on the lap though, so watch yeah. out for that. Is that the McLaren in front of yeah? you? Yes, it is. Okay, so Joseph should be clear for the line then. Final braking zone, final corner, good drive out. Now he's got a power for the line. DRS is open, he'll tuck into the left. Wizard bailed out of his lap. And Andreas, 108.4. He will get another run if he can get himself round and back into the pits. Uh, Profodes, Roland, he is on a lap at the moment. Marginally up through sector one. Really needs to improve by around half a second. He's not there at the moment. Uh, I've got a message from Mark in the chat. He says he's had a DRS failure. Oh no! Um, oh. He, yeah, you're still running P8, though, man. You could do. You could. You could be doing worse. T3 Thomas, sorry, I should. I need to stop calling that because he's in tier two now. Yeah. <laughs> Ferrari Thomas. Ferrari Thomas. Yeah, tenth up. Here comes Roland for the line. Missed his sector two split because I was looking down at the chat. But let's see how he does. Thomas is up to fourth. Good lap from Thomas, here comes Roland, up to P15, 108.8, got himself into the 8s. Faxland now the only man outside of the 108s. Getting a toe though off his teammate over the line I've just noticed. So we could see a mighty first sector from Faxland, we'll have a look. And then we'll jump back to our potential leaders. Uh, Varamir in the chat supporting his teammate from last season, Wisey Boy. Watching Dan's lap and he's just going to lose time because he's run out of the IRS. ERS even. Yeah, he's coming. He was a tenth and a half up. Yep. Yeah. Right. So while well, we're waiting for these guys to go around and get themselves ready for a final run, if they're going to make one, we'll stay on board with Faxland, see if he can get himself into the eights. And it's my time, those of you who've never seen this before, this is a regular feature. It's time for me to do some plugs. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you're doing the murder, so I'll rather be doing that. I'll do some now and I'll do some at the end. Split them. Excellent. So. If you want to check out everything Contest of Speed, make sure you follow us on all the social medias. That's Twitter and Instagram. Uh, you can also subscribe to us on Twitch and on YouTube as well. If you are new to the stream and you're enjoying what you see, make sure you hit the follow button. We like everybody to be involved with us, and we're happy to bring you on with us on our journey. If you think, do you know what? These guys are great. I'm not bothered about the racing, but these two sat in the commentary box. They're amazing. 
Well, I mean, you'd be right. But if you want to support us more, you can do. If you head to contestofspeed.live, uh, you can uh, both donate to us if you're that way inclined, or you can buy some merch. We do have merch now, uh, which you can do there. Uh, the direct link for that is contestofspeed.live forward slash merch. So head over there and show some show us some love if you can. Blank with the 19 bits, thank you very much. Makes it 20 in total for the night. Yeah. Uh, Mox is going to put himself up to P3. So for a bloke that was worried, well, his DRS uh, yeah. is obviously back in action. Um, that's in the pit for Ferrari Thomas. Let's jump across then now to Slater. He's going to be a man challenging for pole position. Don Armo's gone ahead of him, incidentally. 10797, uh, or 794 rather. Oh no, 974. I was right first time. Uh, Varomir made a prediction about the time for pole position earlier on. He said 107956, which at the minute looks like it could be coming true. Mark had a start. I don't know because he's one of the new drivers. He's not experienced some with most of these guys because obviously this is quite a bit of a mix from one to uh, people from tier one, two, and three in the past and mm -hmm. practice that together. Yeah. So he's. I don't really know. So he's splitting his season down into quarters because obviously we're doing twelve races. So he's taking mm -hmm. it three races at a time and. Um, He's hoping for some good battles. He's looking for progression with his own driving, which is good. Um, but he's fancying himself if, if it gets in the rain at any stage, which in Tier 2, as we've, as we've known in seasons past, it will rain. Always. It should do, yeah. Always well somewhere in Tier 2. Just to change the subject again, Blank, you absolute hero. 1,000 bits. Thank you very much. We love you, buddy. Hope your finger gets better soon. I've heard he's still going to race on Thursday. So have I. I was hoping that we could put him in the commentary box, but apparently not. Uh, Big Slater improves in the first sector, goes purple. Ooh, someone's in the wall. That's... Uh, that's... Oh, that's Mark at, at turn three. Exit of turn three, he's gone. We'll stick with Slater for now. So Mark is set on a 108.1. Purple middle sector for Slater as well. He's pushing hard. Uh, Faxland disqualified for being parked oh, in a dangerous weird. location. He was weird off the track. He was like, mm, yeah. The Big Slater 97107.813 puts him on provisional pole. Donamo is on a lap. He's marginally quicker in the first sector, but Arbar has bailed out. What about Rosa? I'm just watching the watching the Ferrari pit lane now. He's been incredibly worried this week. I don't know why. Mercedes, away we go. Thomas jumps up to third, 108 flat. Down up to seventh. Here comes Rosa now, pushing for the line. In the lead car, next man across will be Don Armo, I think. Yeah. Rosa, 108 flat. Don Armo is down marginally. In his middle sector, he's pushing for the line. This could make all the difference. It's only a tenth and a half. Nope, he's bailed oh, out of it. He had four exit, I think. That's, so the that's last man, uh, two spell, has run out of petrol. And Rick is in the pits. Uh, Neil, if you're listening, you are free to retire on track. You have my permission. No, I know why he's doing it. Yeah. Could be the most airtime he's going to get. Who knows? No, no, no. We all know what the wizard's planning. Yeah, see, see, he wiggled. He know, he knows it. He knows he's getting airtime for this. <laughs> uh, to take the tension away from the wizard for just a second, Blank is in the chat. He says he'll give away a sub if we can get the stream to 80 viewers. So come on, people, let's round up some viewers. We're at 45 right now. We just need another 35. We can do it. 
I mean, as the viewers go, this is a, it's a good start. To this the is seven. good. It's a good eight start to the season. What was it last night? 60, was it last night? It was in around 50 for most of it. I think it touched 60. Yeah. And there was a, a safety car. Yes. Classic. So we're waiting for these guys to come around then. The top three is Big Slater with a time of 107.813. Don Amo a tenth and a half behind him and Thomas even closer behind him. Uh, Rosa in the second, Renault comes up in P4. Uh, Arba in fifth, Mark in sixth after having DRS trouble and having retired. He'll be happy with P6 I think. Uh, Jamie in P7 but has a 5 place grid penalty that will of course drop him to 12th although he will be stuck to start on those soft tyres uh, Dan Robbo in the lead Red Bull he will st he's qualified P8 he will start 7th Ferrari Thomas 9th will start 8th uh, Maneric qualified 10th will start 9th Two Spell will jump into the top 10 but will have free choice of tyres crucially beautiful position Yep. Thanks to Jamie. Yep, from the wizard there. Uh, Dracer will jump up to 11th, having qualified 12th. Again, we'll have free choice of tyre. Jamie will slot in there. And then I oh, missed off the also runs at the back of the field. Uh, we've got Mitch's prediction in the chat. He says P1 Don Amo, P2 Big Slater, P3 Away We Go Thomas. So oh, hello! What do we say about tier two and the wet conditions? Yes, this is what we love to see. It's like we knew. Uh, yes, Ricky, they will. If there was a message about it being wet earlier on, I missed it. Um, hey, that's more surprise for us. You know, the, the, that's the that's the great thing about it. Yeah, it's good stuff. So this changes things. Um, I feel because the drivers who we know are quick in the wet in this tier who. Maneric is the naughty boy. Did it last time? Fine. Yep. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Yep. Oh, a legend returns. Cos Kravitz is in the chat. Uh, Nolan's in as well. Welcome, Nolan. It's nice to have you here. Uh, Cos Kravitz says Don Armour could do very well in these conditions. He could, and he is near the front. The other man I would say to look out for is Dreiser in the Haas. Very quick in wet conditions. Keep an eye out for him. I would like to say Don Amo has improved massively. Um, I think when he's re since when he's come back, he was like mid midfield tier two when he came first. Uh, well, came he back. was near the back, wasn't he? Yeah, and then he's now he's come back properly. He's uh, yeah. elevated that. He's also looking throughout the season to eventually his goal for the last race of the season that he's going to race with no assist whatsoever. It's a man on a mission. <laughs> Uh, okay, so predictions flooding in right now. Fruitful's in the chat. He says Thomas for the win, Don Armo second. Uh, I don't know about that, Fruit. Thomas has been complaining about w not wanting it to be wet all week, so. Yeah, but he was okay during that. We had a brawn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was, wasn't he? Too bad in the wet, but. I suppose that was fixed setups and everyone had the same setup. So. Yeah, and the question we then have to ask is the guys at the front of this pack, are they on wet setups? Are they on dry setups? Actually, I, you know, I thought for a second there it stopped raining, but it hasn't. Well, it's only inters, which suggests it's either going to go one of two ways. I, I can't see any of wet races at the time. Uh, yeah, Pure Blades in the chat. Information from the Renault and Mercedes garages it's only dry at the begin. Oh, it's only wet rather at the beginning of the race yeah so I think a lot of people gal has gone dry get for it yeah and then profit later yeah so the guys will be looking to make impacts off the start of those who are quickest in the wet uh, oh Red Bull and Mercedes apparently Renault not in there my mistake Blades thank you Expecting someone like a Jamie or Wizard to be up to about seventh after the first lap. Maybe. We'll find out soon enough as we get ready to go underway in Brazil. Season 5 for Tier 2 is nearly ready. We're at 50 viewers. Here we go. Three, four, five lights. Lights go out. We wait for the glitch. 
It's the first one of the year. I just started revving. We're away in Brazil. Big Slater and Don Armo look to get away well together. Thomas as well behind. Rosa defends the inside. Slater going around the outside to keep position from Don Armo as they challenge for oh, the lead. Squeeze. Dracer gets, Dracer's got up. He got up there. Into eight, told you Andreas in these conditions m absolutely mighty Don has gone lost it on the exit of oh, turn out. three and he's out one of the favourites is gone already and we have a VSC on lap one. Oh, this could be close I don't know if Thomas overtook the race that was very close under the VSC they were side by side uh, Jamie five second penalty for a severe collision with the fallen uh, Jamie, poor start from him, dropped two places. Uh, the big winners then, Charlie up five places. Great start from him. Sygate up four, Dracer up four. Green again. Yep, we are. So Big Slater leads now. 1.6 seconds the gap between him and Arbar in second place. Rosa, oh, well, now the great. only Renault, is in third position with... Away we go, Thomas, in fourth place. You can tell quite a few of these guys have gone with a dry set up the back end or their cars stepping out a little bit. Yeah, really not looking too good. Thomas now closing in on the back of Rosa for third place. Yeah, Charlie under pressure from Fallen. Fallen's look really quick here in the practices we've done, especially in the dry weather on the hard Thomas, compound. Oh. Damn. Oh, yeah, Dan's makes. Got a bit of he has. Andreas now. Look to make the move. Whoa. Back end steps out there. Well caught by the Dane. He's going side by side. If we can get a decent camera angle of this, it would be brilliant. Meanwhile, Thomas goes wide up front. Andreas elbows out, but it's fair racing. Gets past Dan into P6. Roland and Lewis have spot the position there. Oh, um, and Charlie. Charlie. Yeah, that's. That going up, wreckage. that's going up the hill. Let's see if we can see it over the back of there. I don't think we can. Uh, another VSC though. How is that a VSC? The broken the track. It's the same. So I think uh, the man I'll be interested to look at off this restart. Why is he boy behind Maneric? Again, you got a good restart last time. Yeah, he did, and he isn't near the front, so we'll see if we can get a change of leader. Let's wait and see. We are green again in Sao Paulo. Dan's got a great run on Tracer. So is Thomas on Rosa. And so is Rick on Mark. Yeah, Rick down side the inside side. of Mark, round the outside of turn two. Great move from Rick. Man on a mission. Mark struggling in these damp conditions at the moment. Down three places from the start. I think. No, no, it's still red. Yeah. It's just stopping. Rick now closing in on his teammate. That's Dan. In P7. We might see a multi 2 1 from Red Bull here. Uh, Ethan at the moment. So Rosa in P4. Creating a little bit of a train now. Two seconds the gap to that leading pack. Could see Thomas, his old tier three rival, make a move on him down the main straight. No DRS, of course, in wet conditions. Uh, come to blows many a time on the on the circuit in tier three, which was great viewing. I think Thomas got a better exit, maybe. Same. Rick's on the man on the chart, on the move though. Yeah, he is. Oh, Here goes Thomas down the inside of Arbar into turn one. The Dutchman on a move. Has to go around the outside, but we'll have the inside of turn three. Rosa under pressure, Massive, un massively under pressure. Went yeah. wide. We'll see that in the background. Can Arbar make a move back on Thomas? No, I doubt it. Thomas and. How did Ethan keep up? Well, he's positioned, honestly. He Oh, Thomas outshaped. has poked his nose in. Right in the gearbox of that Renault. Not 
Fox going past Dan. Just dropping a little bit. Why is boy next? I've got a yellow. Yeah, that's Lewis. that's Lewis round. <laughs> yeah, I did it again. Did it again. Did it again. Two point eight seconds that gap. I think it was just the back end stepping out, and he managed to catch it. There's no wing damage that I can see, and he is still on the back of the field, so. Not too bad. Meanwhile, this leading trio is pulling away at the front. 3.1 seconds the gap now back to Rosa, who I think is going to be under serious pressure from Thomas in the Ferrari. You think? I, I think he might be. Just maybe. Maybe. Here we go. In the slipstream without DRS, though. He was going for it on the brakes. Late. Late on the brakes from Thomas. Great move oh. up the inside. A little bit of argy bargy, but there's nothing you can really complain about there. Uh, and now he can start to try and bridge the gap to the leaders. So I guess five uh, seconds. Oh. I cut and turn two or three, I think. Which is a little bit unfortunate, I think. He might be able to get but that sent in another. Lead, he? Indeed, he Step. has. We've missed that one. Tracer Into Rosa, turn. So Defence has finally been breached. Yeah, it has. Andreas is through. Oh, terrible run through turn five. Oh, Mark goes down the inside of Rick. Uh, Rick's going to have the inside line. Been a multi two one. At, oh, at contact. Oh, Dan's got to be careful we don't run to the back of these two here. <laughs> yep. Same with Whitey Boy. Because Mark and Rick are going to trip over each other. I feel yeah, good. they are. Um. Yeah, this is the battle we want to see right now. Two spell closing in on the back of it. It's going to be interesting to see if Thomas can bolt his way from this train. Yeah, really needs to put the hammer down now. Up to 51 viewers. Thank you, guys. We need another 30. We need another 30 for Blank to give away a free sub. Ooh. Red Bull's on a little bit of contact. Why is he boy go around the outside? Why is he why manages to split them? Oh, here we go. This is yeah. the battle one that's reignited again. Yeah, these two have history. Two spell and Dan Robbo. Two spell going for the move into turn four. And for those two, that's clean. Oh, Dan oh. going for the switchback. Can he pull it off? Oh, I think he has. He has. Elbows were out, but it's all fair. Uh, DRS enable. So just come up. Good stuff. So the dry weather is here. Let's see. Tom. If Thomas stops, Tom, well, he's pulled with two point six, two point six seconds. But that's because Arbar's managed to get ahead of Slater. I think Slater's made a mistake somewhere because he's now a second off the back of Arbar as well. Thomas is putting Tracy with him, but Rosso is pretty much holding everyone else up to get him. So, actually, what's this done is it's meant Rodens and Lewis can catch up at the back. To be fair, yeah, it so has. We're going to see. A mass exodus into the pit lane. Here comes Thomas. Oh, I'm waiting for someone to go into the back of someone. It's just a given. Arbar's carried on. Brave. Rick's come in. Arbar Dan's has carried, carried on. Off. Thomas in. Medium tyres on the Mercedes, but he's being held in the pit lane. He's been held for a good two or three seconds there. That will cost him. So. Three or f these four guys continued on. I think that's because of where their teammates were on the track. I, I would ball. agree with you. Uh, oh, well, though, not for Arba because his teammates out. Ballen's out, so. Yeah, so that's a bit of a strange one. But I wonder if Arba's just done it so he doesn't get win. held. Yeah, Dan Tuspil stayed out, obviously. Yeah, uh, KB had the same thing in another one of these practice uh, special events that we did. He stayed out. Seem to have worked. We'll soon find out. We'll stay with our bar then for now. And see if the man can get himself back up into the lead of the of the Grand Prix. So Thomas is not gonna Thomas is gonna try and stretch those out to the end. Slate is gonna have to pit again. Yep, Seventeen seconds now the gap to Thomas closing rapidly from our bar. We'll see the Williams dive into the pit lane. Needs to be careful on entry. A little bit squirmy. Can he get it slowed down in time? No, he can't. Five second penalty for speeding in the pit lane for Arbat. 
and we can see on the minimap there that turquoise dot of Thomas's Mercedes flying down the main straight yeah, even after being positions. held Arbar's lost out massively look at that Slater and Thomas were together it was a gamble from Arbar we knew that Uh, but he's lost out massively. He's behind both Thomas and Dreyser, who incidentally are fighting for position. Staying on board with Arbar then. Dreyser up the inside of Thomas into third place. Thomas might try the switch back into turn five. Indeed he does. Wheel bangs together. Oh, yeah, Arbar's behind. He's going to pounce on these two. But Dreyser holds position in third place. Thomas in fourth. Arbar now down to fifth. Let's have a look at the tyres then. So, interestingly enough, Thomas, away we go, out in the lead in the Mercedes, went on to mediums, big Slater and Tracer on the soft tyre. Uh, Ferrari Thomas, he's on the hard tyre, as is Crowan. Those guys all definitely going to the end. The That's mediums... Mm, I wouldn't be surprised if the mediums mm. don't have to stop again, just because it, it, it'll be worth it for them. Dan and Tuspel lost to Wiseball and Crow in pits. Mm -hmm. So that's not great. Rosas also down the position uh, and under um, the pressure from Rick. Yeah. Oh, Arbar up the inside of Thomas into turn one. Thomas defends well around the outside using that speed he can carry through. Holds it, but with DRS, this should be an easy yeah. move for Arbar. Indeed it is. And then you've got Rosa and Manirik fighting behind as well. Thomas on the inside, though. Forces them both wide. But will hold the position. We know from his time in Tier 3, of course. Uh, Rosa's, Rosa's gone. Oh, that's and a big impact. He's hit the wall and then he's yeah. speared across the other side of the track. Uh, I know Cave is in the chat. Yeah, Cave is in the chat. I remember he did that in his first race here for Contest of Speed. Uh, a couple of seasons ago. Lewis. That was the before the VSC. Yeah. Uh, Jamie now down at the back. I mean, uh, softs. So yeah. Some strange strategies going on out there. But Do you know what? I think, I think the man who is in the best position right now, apart from, I think it's the two Thomases that are going to be battling for the win here. Just outright pace, and we know Arbar's quicker than Thomas. Um, yeah, the thing is, Thomas, Thomas now. In fact, he's got him. Yeah, he has. Restart. He's got him on the restart, but Thomas needs to just not fight this too hard. It's not his race to go for. He needs to wait until the later stages and just try and stay Dan with got, them. Dan got past Crowen. Neil was on the back of Dan and lost. He's dropped seconds. away. Yeah, he's dropped right away, hasn't he? Uh, Slater, meanwhile, still in touching distance of Thomas in the battle for the lead. Lewis got past Rowan again, and they're fighting down into turn four. I think these two are going to be having a ding dong battle all race, these two. Yeah, they are. Uh, Total Wizard, thank you very much for the follow. We hope you're enjoying yourselves. We were up to 56 viewers momentarily there, guys. Come on, let's get this keep let's keep it going. If we can get above 65, it's a new Contest of Speed stream record, and that is all we want. Look, Dan wants the record, okay? I want, I want the record, because Thomas and Blades, I think, wasn't it? Who got it? Yeah. Yeah, Thomas and Blades have been gloating to me about that for months, and I want to beat them, so let's get... Go and wake your family up. Get them on watching the stream. We're going to have a challenge for the lead though now. Big Slater. Around the outside into turn four. Thomas is going to defend it. Slater on the switchback though. Those soft tyres working well. Great move from the Irishman. Oh, Thomas and Arbar. Arbar is staying ahead for now. He's done the same thing as he does all the time. Thomas, save the uh, ERS. That is his weakness. He's quick, but that's his weakness. This is ERS management. It's seven. Since when was it 75, the stream rate? Alright, fine. We need to get to this 80, so Blank will give away a free sob. Come on. Come on, people. We got 75 the other week. In fact, tier 2. 
Brazil. Limbs is all I'm going to say that day. Limbs. Yep. Absolute Bring limbs. He's going to have Thomas. Yeah, I think you're right. DRS is open. They both have it. Thomas oh, squeezing oh, Rick oh, into the wall. No going which way in that. Oh, Thomas. Thomas got front wing damage. Yeah, but he's he's defending too oh, hard, man. We've said this yeah. already. The guy doesn't have to do that. Oh, and he comes back on in front of Wisey Boy. Well, I, th I think Rick needs to give the position back because he's off the track. Well, we'll see what happens. I mean, there is now two. there is now a man between them both, and nothing's come of it just yet. So I'm not so sure. I think it, the game's counted it as clean. Uh, Rodin's dropped off the back. Lewis massively is under pressure from Sygate. Jamie, oh, we need three wide. Great battle right. for P14. Sygate holding on to it right now. In fact, Sygate jumped him. Yeah. Uh, Roland's oh, wing wide. damage. He's got wing damage. Yeah. Oh, one's white dropped off for of Lewis so far. Was like, they're right next to each other. And all this time stuck behind Ronald is really hurting Jamie's race. Wisey boy is looking to make a move on Rick who... Yep, yep. Rick gets through. That was fairly easy. Thomas has come in, hopefully for the mediums. And a front one change. Fingers crossed for him. Let's see, does Roland yep. stop? No, Roland keeps going. Fair play. Uh, and it looked as though Jamie was going to look to make a move, but I think he's backed out of it. Faxon's going to maybe do one on Lewis, defends the inside, oh, gives him the squeeze. Here comes Jamie and Roland making contact together, the two Dutchmen. A little bit, little bit aggressive there, Roland, mate. Made a mistake. Uh, 2.7, yeah, I think you might be right. 2.8 seconds now. Well, maybe that was just a gap because you just gone. Uh, quickly set the personal best through sector 2. Yeah. Strange. But saying that, Dan's right on the back of him. DRS enabled. We'll get a good run at him down towards turn four if he can nail two and three. I think Mark got the better exit there. Dan knows what the plan is. He certainly does. There is three seconds. That's his second penalty, I want to say. I'm not oh, completely I sure. I don't think there's been that many, actually. Which is good. It is, it's nice to see. Jamie has got past Roland. That was. It was always, yeah, it was always going to happen, wasn't it? I'm still with Dan and Mark in their battle for P7. Come on, 54 viewers, let's get it up, people. Just go and. If people are asleep, go and take their mobile devices, get them signed on. Interesting. Get them logged into Both Twitch. Similar ERS as well, so. This is this is gonna be close this one. Yep, yeah, Dan's going for it. Down to ERS mode four. Yeah, yep, he's gonna happens. easily have this done. Oh, Ooh, wow. Pulls it out late. Holds the tank slapper. And takes the position into turn one. He's just gotta get a good run because always Mark's gonna come back at him. Yeah. He's, got one. he's still in mode four, and this should be good for Dan. Yeah, he's fine. He's got I a great drive. Obviously, guys that have had contact and stuff, as Jamie needs Sidegate, gets a little bit feisty. Oh, I mean, Sidegate's just cut the corner there. Maintain. It's wherever he's going to give it back. Yeah, I did think he would do. Fair enough. Yep. Total Wizard, if you, uh, you want to bring some of your stream guys across here to have a look and have a watch, go for it. They're more than welcome. Bean sandwiches here. It's oh. what we like to see. The man with one of the best names in COS. Welcome, my friend. It's nice to have you with us. Just to point out, because this happened yesterday, obviously, 
steam retired yesterday. Mm -hmm. And we obviously had the late safety car, which meant we could have been 13th. I just yeah. hope that these guys, if they get any damage, they just continue because anything can happen. Yeah, anything can. Um, Steve Acosta retired on track last night, which is not allowed. Yeah, I think there's going to be a few rule enforcements, I think, this week. Just a reminder of people. Yeah. Faxlan uh, now closing in onto the back of Lewis. Tony? Yes? The battle for 7th and 8th, I believe, would be a net P3. Uh, I would agree with you, yes. Actually, okay. well, actually, let's have a look. Gap to the leader. I'd say 7th, 8th and 9th. If the guys pit ahead of him on the, the on the softs, that's your battle for P P3. So we'll get Dan, Mark, would, and, uh, and Wizard. Wizard. I would count Big Slater in that as well. The gap between Slater and Wizard is yes. 19 and a half seconds, so he'll come out just behind on fresh tyres. Yeah, so and he'll come back out on softs because he remember we had rain, so they don't need to use both sets of tyre as Arbar oh, has got past Tracer. Tracer. So is this the turning point? It could be, but Dreiser will have DRS to come back. There's Wisey Boy in there as well. He's got no DRS. He's got no ERS. Left. No, he's obviously been defending for his life in there. Maneric only 2.4 seconds behind these three. So there's some strong performances from guys that have not raced for a while. There are. Thomas has made. He's, he's battling with Roland for P15. And oh, I thought he was going to park it on the apex. Yeah. And Thomas takes the position there. We'll have DRS to escape. And that'll be that. Uh, why is he boy now all over the back of Andreas? Looks like that Haas has given up the ghost with those tyres. Just keeping on. I'm just keeping an eye on the gaps from sorry from fifth down to the uh, line, just to see how they develop. No, no, Dox he shouldn't. He should be here. He's got wing damage at the moment, which is why he's where he is. People worry no, about Roland. Yeah. Stop Why's your boy had a look there on Andreas, but the DRS from Arbar is keeping him afloat. Otherwise, your boy, great drive off turn three. He's got the toe. Is he going to go for the move? Not quite close enough. Andreas leaves the door open, but Why's your boy has to close, close it and tuck in behind. I think Dan's made a mistake. Mark's closed back up, but. Both. I think these guys are just managing their ERS at the moment, waiting the guys ahead to pit. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, Cos Gravitz in the chat saying that Thomas is looking in complete control of this race, and I can't say that I can't he's wrong. Disagree with okay. that. I can't disagree either. I mean, he's pulling away from Arbor in P3, he's staying within touching yeah. distance of Slater, and this lap in particular, he's closing. So. I would also say he is probably where we expect Thomas to be. Yes, he is. Majority of the season. Mm -hmm. At the front. Oh, why is he boy and Trace is side by side. Trace is not going to give it up. He's going to battle his way. He's the quietest man you know in cars. And but why is he boy with a great back. switch back into turn three? He's going to have it by turn four. Yep. Yep, moved on. Just trying to work this out. So if they're going to do mediums, mediums to the end are going to be on 28 laps. Um, that is a big stretch. Yeah, I... D now, just who do we think is going to be quicker? Out on on the same tyre, like Thomas is obviously up there, isn't he? So Thomas is going to be possibly quicker than Slater. Well, he should be because he's only one point six seconds behind. That's the thing. If you're Thomas now, do you consider boxing the same a time as Slater and just fighting him outright? Speaking of, oh, I thought Mark was going to come in there for a little dummy. Cheeky. 
Yeah. Why is your boy with three seconds there? Yeah, I'm just looking further down. I think it's very similar. Oh, it's Don Amo say. in the chat saying, what should he do with his life after such a bottle job? Don't worry about it, mate. Long season ahead. It happens. You could have done what I did last season. I didn't even make turn one. No. No, that was spectacular. Mm-hmm. Yep. If you don't mind me asking, I'm not a touchy subject. <laughs> No, it was all right. It's an old season. Yeah, I think fourth, fifth, and sixth are very even, and I would say seventh, eighth, and ninth are very even on pace as well. So mm -hmm. it's all about making the fewest mistakes, fewest penalties. Yep. The right stop at the right time. And if these guys got stopped again, I've just realised Crow could be all right, you know. So I mean, Crowan was looking good. Thomas before his wing damage was looking really Rick's good. In. Rick is in from P6. Let's see what he goes on to. Uh, we have 15 laps to go, so another set of softs soft. could do it. Yep, yeah. soft tyres on. Softs will make it. They were just waiting, I think. They couldn't pit a couple of laps ago because it would have been meant they were stretching the life out of them, but. Soft should make it here from, end, from the end, but it'll be the last couple of laps will be a little bit tricky. Yeah. So Rick going to come out just ahead of Jamie. In fresh air. Yeah. That's the most... Oh, I say fresh air. He's going to yep. be under pressure. So then, let's jump back across to Slater now. Coming up towards the start-finish line, is he going to box? No. Nope, he's carrying on. What about Wisey Boy? Wisey Boy and Andreas, Andreas they need to keep an eye out because they're the ones that Rick's going to be trying to undercut. That would be a good indication to see if the guys behind them on the moon will catch them. I think you might be right, yeah. 5.7 the gap to the first medium runner from these two. 2.1 seconds now the gap to the lead. Slater's putting the hammer down. He needs to. Perhaps in pit again, or he's in the pits. Yep, he's in. 15 lap old softs. He'll be coming on for a new what? set. Thrash has not dropped off the back of Wise Boy though. No, I think he's using him to just pull himself along. Five point five is fluctuating. It's going to be that middle sector where you see possibly that time come down because of the medium. Yeah. And Slater is into the pits. Race leader boxes then. Gets the car slowed down in time. He's going to come out around two spells, so I'm going to keep an eye on two spells. Yeah, you keep an eye on that. I'll keep an eye on the leader. Well, on who was the leader. Soft tyres on the racing well. point. Wisey Boy carries on. Teammate in the pits, of course. Slater. No, no, he's. Do you know what? He's going to struggle to. Dan's going to struggle to get past him here. Didn't realise that's how short it was going to be. No, I thought the pit lane. Well, the pit delta was a lot longer than that. Now then, Thomas, what pace have you got? Okay, so, gap to the leader then from Big Slater is 16.8 seconds, and it will close rapidly on those tyres, but he does have to go a long way on them. And that's the difference between the, where Slater was and where Drace and Rick was, because Slater's got ahead of this little cluster of cars, and Drace and Rick are going to be stuck behind them. Yeah, yeah, they are. Uh, Wisey Boy, incidentally, I would imagine we'll be boxing now. Has Indeed to. he is. He's going to struggle That's to get that. He gets it slowed down well. It could be a lap too late as well. Yeah, I think he would have been better off stacking, I think, that one. Dan goes through, fourth place for him. Under, under conservation. And it's medium tyres on Wisey Boy's racing point. Why would you... 
why would you go so long to go on the medium? Unless you didn't have any socks. Either that, or maybe you just. Like, maybe it's like me yesterday. Yeah, but I, I mean, I went on the mediums yesterday. He will have the pace at the end of the race. He will be. I would be willing to to bet that he, the two guys ahead of him, he'll drop off initially, but come lap thirty, he'll start Which to close in. Just seen the distant difference, anyway. Slayer is checked out away from Dan. Yeah, he has. Uh, gap now down to fifteen seconds to Thomas. Eleven laps to go. Now, he's going to come up behind Fastest lap of the race for Slater, 110.1. One. So I'm expecting Jane is probably pit. So 7th down to 11th is going to be interesting. We've got this battle for fourth and we've got this battle for seventh. I think yeah. It's going to be fourth, fifth, and sixth, but we don't know what order yet. And then we've got seventh down to 11th. We've got Wiser Boy closing in on Maneric now. Look, he looks much more comfortable on those mediums. A yellow, and that's a man off at turn one, I think. It's Faxland. Yeah, that's Faxland, yeah, at turn Probably one. Damage BSC. That's big damage as well on the Haas. Ah, oh, Arba Pitts. Arba Pitts from second place. That could be a game changing strategy call from the Canadian. That stays out. Mark comes in. Two spells stays out. Arba with a time penalty, that could cost him. Crowen's come in. Yeah. Lewis has stayed out. Soft tyres on the Williams. I tell you what, that's not good news for Two Spell and Dan because Crowen was sort of holding people up, giving them a buffer. You say that. Arba would have been out right behind them, but now as it stands, he's seven seconds back, so. Now it's Lewis, that's the cork in the bottom. Mm-hmm. Uh, DRS re-enabled. We are green again. Uh, and oh, Lewis is out. He's out. Literally saying he was and and Wisey Boy is gone. Wisey Boy's hit his car, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's a big crash. Yeah, that is a big shunt. Let's go on board with uh, Crow and then as he goes through. How is that not like a safety car? Whoa, yeah. That should that. that should be a full course safety car there. So how it isn't, I'll never know. I've claimed my first victim of the season. What well, Lewis? Sorry, Lewis. Yeah. All of this playing into the hands of Thomas though up front, some slower laps. Just what he needs. 12.3 well. These guys behind have been split up as well Look at that mm -hmm. fifth, Yeah, 5th down to 8th They've all been split up yeah. All outside of DRS apart from Jamie who's closing in on Mark Having just come out of the pits If Jamie's going to make his move it needs to be soon I'm surprised they've not gone pop yet 19 laps Hmm I did, 20, I did 20, me and Lewis did 24 last season in tier 2 in slightly adverse conditions but he's going to try and go to the end isn't he they're, just, they're going to be crying I mean I was on 85% on lap 20 I did 23 laps on them we could see a Jamie puncture before the end of this race I'll have to keep an eye out for that one unless he boxes any time soon uh, Alp you went away for one second you fool you never step away. Uh, what happened was we got a VSC after Faxland lost it at turn two. Got himself some wing damage. Uh, Arba, Maneric, no, Arba, Mark, Arba Crowen, uh, they all pitted. 
uh, and then Lewis lost it at turn five, and I think Wisey Boy was an unfortunate bystander in there. And so a sitting passenger. Yes, he was a passenger. Ended up driving into Lewis's car. This gives us five retirements for the day. So nine laps, slightly needs about one point two seconds of that. Yeah, yeah, he does. It's uh, it's going to be a tall order for him. Although he is sitting purple sectors now. <laughs> I've just seen the ERS deployment of uh, third and fourth, which is quite fun. They're both yes. stocking up, waiting for the attack that is eventually coming from the soft runners. Yeah, Arbar now almost within striking distance of two spell. He is getting. DRS off Faxland, who is being lapped by this group of cars, so that's going to help him along. They are both waiting for the eventual attack. Shall we have a look at the penalty situation? Tuspel, of course, renowned for his ability to stay clean that's, in races. That's why I'm not bothering. I'm not even going to bother looking at it. Thomas is clean. Big Slater is... Dan is... Incredibly close. There's anything else. Neil hasn't got a warning. Surprise, surprise. Arbar Golden Wizard Award for the Wizard. Got one warning. He served his, dry, his five second time penalty. That's important to know. Uh, Dracer has got. Faxland, five second penalty for ignoring blue flags. And Rick's got two. So allow Arbar through, he'll get himself another one. But Arbar now right on the back of the wizard. This could be a simple move into turn one for the Williams man. Indeed it is. Yeah. No defence there from the wizard. So I think the wizard will be happy. I think you're right. Now Arbar sets off after Dan. Four seconds behind him. With six laps to go. Cue the Jaws music. <laughs> Either that or um. Ah, uh, I forgot. Uh, Heart of Courage. I think I think Arbor has the Jaws music and Dan needs the Heart of Courage at this point. No, I think it's the other way around. Give Arbar the Heart of Courage music and push him on for podium. 3.3 seconds now, the gap closing rapidly on the Red Bull of Dan Robo in third place. Slater, gap at 8.5, he's not closing fast enough at the moment, but those medium tyres on Thomas's Mercedes will go off the cliff at some point. Whether it'll be before the end, we don't know. Oh, there it is. Uh, Faxon has. Yeah, he's gone in the pits. Dan's picked up three seconds. He's pushing so, hard. The gap now three seconds. It's all right. It's okay. So, possibly in this situation, in his shoes, we're possibly going to lose a place to Arbor, which is going to happen anyway because of the tyre situation. Yeah, he needs to keep, pushing, he needs to keep pushing though. He needs to keep pushing to keep himself ahead in Neil on penalties. So it's just which way around. It's going to be close, but I yeah. think actually these two will be quite happy with, uh, well, fourth and fifth respectively. Depending yeah. On which way around it is. Uh, Jamie's still going, by the way. 23 lap old soft tyres for him. He's got five when to go. Gonna, uh, let's predict the lap. When is it going to happen? Is yeah. it going to happen? It's going to happen. Uh, I'm, no, I'm going to be optimistic. I think he'll make it to the end. 56 viewers, everybody. Thank you for joining us throughout tonight's race. It's great to have you here. We hope you've enjoyed the race so far. That's what I'm going to... That's it's gonna if, be if they go. If they go, snap. yeah. yeah. It's going to be the last snap. I don't uh, want to. No. Oh, Abba, uh, 1.7 behind now. I think turn 1 or turn 4 next time round will be his first attacking opportunity. It depends how the middle sector goes for Dan. Gonna, uh, next closest battle is Jamie. 
Uh, no, it's Mark on Maneric. And oh no, yeah, Thomas and Jamie. Uh, Thomas has done well recovering to get some points. Uh, it's a good job from him so far. Points on debut. Yeah. Uh, we've got Mark closing on Maneric as well. Arbar though within the second now. Middle sector has absolutely flown by for him. Let's see how he does. I would just let him go. Right, I mean you've got four laps to go, including this one they're on. Abba's got him now, surely, with the DRS. Pulls out. Yeah, he's yeah. fine, he's got to no. Strategic driving from Dan. Thomas has yeah. got past Jamie. Into P9. Jamie, 25 laps on those tyres now. Meanwhile, at the front, 6.2 seconds the gap between Thomas and Slater. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. Medium tyres are going. They're dying. Yeah? I would say so, and I'll see if Trace is going to catch Neil and Dan in that time, but I think uh, they've gone. We'll keep an eye on the Deltas. On board a big Slater then as we start lap 34 of 36. Thomas, our race leader, is 5.6 seconds ahead of us. The gap is closing now. I think you're right. I think those mediums are going off. Five and a half seconds now. Drayson not closing in as quickly on those two ahead of him. Dan's just going to lose out at the moment. Half yes. a second. He needs to put the hammer down, get himself half a second in the next two laps. Really push on. Five seconds. Yeah, gap now into the four second region, 4.9. Slater pushing hard here to try and catch up to Thomas, to challenge him for the lead and for the win. He's got two laps to do it. Two and a half second average is what's needed and then he needs to get past. It's a straight fight on track. I am... Um straight fine track between the front two. Kagan's 95, thank you for the follow. Chris, thank you for the follow. Uh, one God, no, not all of them are. Um, I think the majority in here will, but I know there are some who don't have ABS on. Thomas, I don't think has. Don't Thomas think doesn't, has. don't think Slater has. has. Yeah, uh, some of the other guys don't. Andreas doesn't, I know that, in P6. Um, if you want to watch some of the guys who are driving with no assist at all, come back tomorrow. Thursday. Oh, and Wait. Thursday, yeah. Tomorrow will be the main one, uh, but Thursday as well, we've got a no assist here uh, that's new. Uh, it'll either be starting this week or next week with Raikkonen, who's uh, just... Uh, Mark, in he's the on the back of Rick. Sorry, Danny. He is. 3.4 seconds now, the gap for the lead but we'll, <coughs> we'll go for the battle for seventh oh my god it's tight it's tight keep an eye on the battle for fourth yeah 2.9 seconds no you're yeah. allowed to he's family <laughs> oh. as they start the final lap then 2.5 seconds the gap now to Slater from Thomas he's closing in rapidly on board with Mark now as he challenges Rick for seventh Rick's taken an early defence of the inside. He's going to move across to the out. Oh, he's done him. And no, Mick, Rick's oh, going to no, hold he's it. Off. He's going to hold position. Parks it on oh, the apex. Oh, well. The apex. I could see that coming. Yeah, two seconds now. The gap to the leaders. 3.3. Let's jump up then. Thomas now. Technically two, laps. but one real corner to go. 
29 laps will make it 30 when he crosses the line Slater 1.4 seconds behind one more lap would have done it one more lap would have been enough but he doesn't have one more lap and Thomas takes the win in tier two for the first time to lead season five off in style Slater comes home in a valiant second place Arbar looks like he's going to come home third and then we jump to the battle for fourth between Dan and Two Spell. It's coming down. It's coming down. Don't think it's going to be enough. Oh, it's getting Arbar very into close. third. Dan crosses the line. Here comes the wizard. He's oh, not he's done enough. Up. Two and a half tenths. The gap. Dan holds on to fourth place. Oh, Mark, oh, he's gonna, oh, he didn't have enough slipstream on him. It was so close. Didn't get him on the line, but got him on penalties. Rick drops to P8. Here comes Thomas, though. P9. Great recovery drive from him. Jamie, oh, Jamie. 29 laps. That is on a set of soft tyres. That is fantastic. Crowen in P11 just missing out on points. Slygate's going to complete his first Tier 2 race. Yeah, he's, he's completed a, it. That's the important thing. That's an achievement in itself. He's on. He's, uh, he's had a quiet race. It's not been brilliant from him. A lot of penalties from what I can remember, but... He's made it to the finish, and that's what can, that's more than can be said for a lot of the guys. Uh, Roland or Provodas in P13 rounds off the finishers. So there we have it. Tier 2 gets us off to Season 5 in style. 58 viewers, great to have you with us. Thank you for joining. Make sure you hit the follow button if you're new here. We hope you have enjoyed the stream. Uh... Mark saying he had end plate damage on the exit of the pits. Would be uh, interesting to see. It certainly would. Yeah. Good result nonetheless. Like yeah. Mark as well. Another good result on debut. It certainly is. So there we have it. Thomas takes victory. And I think that is his first victory since Russia Season 3, I want to say. So a long time ago. I'm sure that champagne tastes just as sweet as it has always done, though. Big Slater comes home second. Very unlucky not to be able to challenge. One more lap and he would have had enough. Arba rounds off the podium then, as we said. And the rest of the 13 finishers are there on screen for you. The DNFs at the bottom there. Faxland in P14. Uh, Wisey Boy and Racer 001 retired at the same time. Wisey Boy unfortunate in that incident. Uh, Rosa at the same corner as those two in front of him. Fallen as well. Yeah, and uh, Charlie. And Charlie, yeah. Uh, Don Armo, of course, lap one he went out. Really unfortunate. Would have been definitely in the run for victory. Very impressive performances by some people who probably didn't expect them to be where they were. So. Certainly so. Uh, two spell, of course, with the Golden Wizard Award. We would expect nothing less. If you would do the honours, Matt, of inviting in those three podium finishers, please. These three lovely people. There's three lovely people, and we shall do some interviews for you lovely people at home. So if you can get your votes in for Driver of the Day, please, as well as uh, any questions you would like me to ask, or myself and Matt, rather, to ask the guys, then we shall put the winner's cart on the turntable while we wait for them to get in. If you excuse me for just one second, everybody. I want to just tweak the audio a little bit, just so we can hear the guys you come in. Uh, Joan Bar or Johan Bar, thank you very much for the follow. We hope you enjoy yourself while you're here. We just have to wait for these guys to join in and we'll do some interviews. So, that's while we're waiting for these guys to join, everybody, if you can. Uh, if you are new around here, hit that follow button. We've had a lot of new guys tonight. We uh, we really appreciate appreciate you all joining and following. Uh, so if you can hit follow on Twitch, that would be great. You can subscribe on Twitch as well if you're feeling 
generous. Uh, or you can head over to our YouTube channel and subscribe on there. So that's youtube.com forward slash contest of speed. Oh, what, Big Slater? Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you want to buy some Contest of Speed merch, we do have it now. If you head to contestofspeed.live, you can uh, donate to us if you are feeling generous, or you can buy some merch on that, that site as well. Um, and all proceeds go back into the league. It would be very, very appreciated from you all. So, let's start then while Matt's inviting Slater. We'll start with P3, Arbat. Well, hello. Well, hey. <laughs> this isn't a normal interviewing thing, is it, for us? Normally, we'd have been racing together, but uh, P3 for you then on the uh, first race of Season 5. How was it for you out there? It was, it was pretty crazy. Um, I thought for a while I'd thrown away the podium by getting five seconds and then um, missing the lap when everyone pitted to drives, but the VSC came out and basically gave me a free pit stop and took away my penalty, so really lucked out there, but otherwise it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, and good job to Thomas and Slater being so good and so fast that whole time. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was uh, it was a shame about the strategy call when when you stayed out that extra lap. How come you did stay out that extra lap? If you don't mind well, me asking. There's a little little voice inside my brain that's like, there's no way it dries out this fast. And then as I was going through, getting to uh, sector two, I saw literally everyone pitting, and I was like, oh, that was not at all what was hmm. going to happen. So just surprised with how how quick it dried out. It's a feeling. Well, it didn't it didn't hinder you too much in the end but uh, congratulations P3 hopefully we'll see you again sometime soon oh thanks All right. moving on then second place Big Slater how's it going? not so bad not so bad uh, how how much would you pay for that race to be an, an extra lap? a lot of money no not a lot of money the money I have in my pocket <laughs> but uh, now I was, I was catching them so quick in the last well, I think the last two laps I was caught on about two seconds a lap probably more yeah we were really closing in we were to be fair, with about six laps to go it was around ten seconds we thought no nah, he's left this too late and then it got down to a second and a half with two laps to go and so, oh he's closing <laughs> he's really getting they might just do this and then just one lap short unfortunately but uh it looked as though going on the softs was a bad call, but it turns out it, it worked out quite well for you. Yeah, uh, I think it was... I don't know, I was ran with the mediums, but I wasn't as quick on the mediums. But I knew the wear was around the same, so I was might as well put, um, go soft, soft instead of just medium. Yeah. But, no, Thomas done very well. I don't know how many laps he done on them towards at the end. About 30, I think. Jesus. Yeah. Not as good as Jamie, though. Jamie managed to do 29 laps on a set of softs. No way, really? Yeah. Yeah. How they not a puncher? I had no idea. No idea. Uh, but, yeah. Great drive, man. It's uh, it's nice to have you in Tier 2 on a permanent basis nowadays as well. Yeah, that's it. It's good. Good to be here. It's good. Yeah. So, congrats on P2. Hopefully, we'll see you again next week. Grand, thanks, Dan. Uh, no worries. Moving on, then. Oh. Oh, the roles are reversed. <laughs> Tier yeah. 2 winner, Thomas. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, I'm so buzzing. I'm, oh, I'm really happy. How full's the paddling pool? <laughs> no, it, it's it's strange you know because like yeah I commentated these guys for almost three years all, yeah two years really yeah. um, and it's really weird to race against them now but um, yeah it's just really great to take the victory I've practiced quite a bit actually for this race and yeah it paid out so I'm really happy about that one it's great yeah no you did really well man uh, were you always going to go on the mediums or did any part of you think you know I might stop again 
Um, now I was really in a debate um, about going on to the hard because I just I didn't want to make two stops because with the extra uh, pit stop time I just knew it wasn't going to work. But then um, I was in a party with Cookie and Blades and they immediately said go on to the medium. So for some reason I trusted them. Really weird, but I trusted them. <laughs> you trusted? Yeah. yeah. I, of all the people in constant speed, I trusted <laughs> Cookie and Blades. But <laughs> oh. uh, fair play to them, respect to them because it turned out to be the great choice to uh, go on to the mediums. And uh, the virtual safety guard came out um, just after I uh, ran, uh, raced past the uh, pit entry. So yeah, then I just knew I have to commit to the one stop on the mediums and. The last two laps I was just on 70% tire or something, so I was just praying to everything that's holy to not get a puncture. And uh, yeah, luckily it didn't, so uh, yeah, yeah, happy. So, perfect start then for you for tier 2. Uh, from yeah, what I, I can... I couldn't wish for anything more, yeah, except of Lewis retiring, <laughs> which is a shame. He just lost it coming out of turn 4, I think it was, which Yeah. Was really a shame. But, uh, yeah, it, I mean, he managed to take out Wisey Boy in the process, so it's not all bad. Yeah, I was hoping for a safety car or a virtual. It, it should have been. I didn't understand how there wasn't a safety car at all. So no, I was really hoping on it because then I would have pitted for softs, but yeah, it wasn't yeah. meant to be. Yeah, but uh, from what I can tell, you've got driver of the day as well. Oh, that's in brilliant. The chat. So thanks everyone for watching. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we didn't quite beat your record though. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. <laughs> or, or not, because now I still got the record though. Yeah, uh, but yeah, congratulations. First win for Tier 2. We'll see you yeah, next week. Congrats to uh, Arbar and uh, Slater as well for picking out the podium. Congrats, lads. Cheers, thanks, Tom. You too. Alright then, so that's where we'll round off the first stream of Tier 2 Season 5 in Contest of Speed. Thank you all very much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed the show. If you have, make sure to hit the follow button on Twitch. If you're watching this later on, make sure you hit subscribe on YouTube. Uh, as we've said already, you can go and purchase some COS merch at contestofspeed.live. And uh, any and all support will be greatly appreciated. We will see you all again next week, 10pm UK time, for Round 2 in Azerbaijan. Thank you very much. Good night.